Okay, so what I've done so far is to make all the holes for all the, the knobs and the ins and outs. Uh, and you see I've, I've um, actually attached the EQ. So this is this is the Boss GE7, I guess. So I actually mounted the faceplate on there, if we can focus. There we go. So I've glued the, the faceplate there and yeah, it's it's working fine and uh, I have power MIDI out and all my effects and delay um, this is MIDI in so I can have a wired connection for my my uh, pedal board um, this is uh, where my uh, delay is gonna live uh, my two analog delays so one side there and one side there and this is uh, first, I'm, I'm guessing like uh, my first tube screamer and the second tube screamer. So I'm gonna, the plan is to to have like uh, a TS-808, the one that I usually use, and then have an alternative like a TS-9 or something. And uh, this is where all the dip switches uh, for, for all the assignments are gonna live. This is, uh, in and out uh, FX loop in and out and this is channel switch for the amp so yeah the plan now is to uh, start wire up the Arduino and um, then make all the yeah basic connections uh, it's gonna be plenty in here so all this is gonna gonna fit so this is my delay uh, tube screamer and a whole lot more the relay section so um, yeah let's do it yeah okay a side note um, I want to build this as good and clean as possible so a lot of wires are gonna be used so might as well get a full roll yeah okay let's get to it okay so I'm thinking I'm not doing the time-lapse thing I think you've seen this before uh, a couple of times so now all my output pins are soldered on and um, also the power wires some extra grounds there if I need them so that should be it uh, the TX and RX uh, I'm gonna use connectors because I need to be able to remove them I think when I program the chip so uh, yeah let's uh, let's place um, Place the chip in, uh, well, the Arduino in the case and uh, wire the rest up. All right, so, and I also got a port right there. So, yeah, you can program it from, from the outside uh, pretty much whenever you want. Next step is to glue the dip switches in pairs of three. Uh, just with some super glue and then it's gonna be a massive task to wire these up. It's gonna take a lot of wires uh, We'll do that next Okay, this is the fiddly bit uh, I'm doing all the connections on the dip switches uh, the way I had planned this was um, uh, One output pin goes to the full row of pins and then Okay, so I caught a flaw in my design here, which was actually good before I went too far. Uh, first, I was thinking about using a common rail like this, uh, feeding the entire row. Um, that's not going to work um, uh, because um, if, uh, let's say, this dip switch number one is on and another dip switch uh, Num corresponding number let's say number one is on that's going to bridge the connection over so uh, whatever is done on this second uh, dip switch is going to engage so it, it basically it's going to mess up each other so the way to do this i'm not going to go into detail why um, but um, i did some testing and this uh, worked when i tested so i'm gonna do it it's gonna take a lot of time 
Um, I just have to modify this, uh, this layout a little bit. So instead of uh, a single rail coming in, uh, I have to solder on uh, 220 ohm resistors to every in. So that's that's eight on every dip switch, and I have six dip switch. If you if you're good at math, you know that's gonna take a few hours. Um, so that's 48 resistors. Uh, luckily, I have a few. So and this first row was actually quite simple. What I did was to make a small loop and just put it on and just put it there so uh, it might be fairly quick but I'm, I'm glad I caught this before I went too far so yeah let's do this Okay, finally done with the dip switches and it took ages man that was that was hard work so I'm glad I'm done with those next step is to prep the relays so let's do that okay it's finally time to do the relays and these are my first four these will control my um, preamp I mean pre the amplifier effect so uh, these two are the built-in uh, tube screamers and these two I'm going to use for external if I want to add external uh, overdrives or something like that. So um, I've connected these um, like in this sketch here. So uh, input on the, the wiper and if the relay is off it will just bypass the signal so nothing happens it just takes a detour there and uh, same here um, but if the if the relay is on if it latches on let's say this TS9 latches on uh, it will take the signal to from um, from this pin this is like to the effect the TS9 and this is uh, coming back from the TS9 so it, it loops to the TS9 and back and then goes through all all four so um, I'll probably just be using one uh, at a time so uh, so like the signal will most loop through like a very short path here so um, this is what it looks on the relays you can see this is input from the guitar and there goes your output um, to um, to the amplifier and these pins here the normally uh, well they when the, the relay oh, closes, when the relay latches, this is uh, your send and return pin on every relay. Um, so next to do now is to, um, to connect, uh, to wire up the, the coil. The, that's those two pins. Um, I'm gonna be needing a diode um, resistor and a transistor to do uh, to be able to control them via the Arduino, uh, you could use, like I've done in the previous video, um, a relay board, but these rarely comes. Let me show you. 
rarely comes with uh, DPDT relays. Uh, they're almost always single pole relays. Uh, what I did before was removing some of the relays and just uh, took the signal wires and then wired them to, to the coils. Uh, I'm not going to do that now because this is a uh, it's a waste of space basically. So this goes out, and I'm going to do a much smaller solution on every relay. So um, yeah, that's next to do. Okay, I decided instead of the relay board which I've used before, uh, I'm going to do something uh, smaller and um, hopefully as good. So we're going to need a few components, uh, some transistors here. Uh, those are 2N2222 and I have uh, some uh, 1N4004 diodes and some 1K resistors. We're going to hook this up as this sketch uh, tells us. So you can use pause the video here if you want to look at that. Um, otherwise, let's do this. Alright, these four relays are for the effects that goes before the amplifier. So let's move that to the side and have a look at these two. As you can see I have the transistor there, the diode, plus wire, and the negative to that lead there. And the signal comes in through this uh, 1K resistor there. And uh, yeah, these two are going to control my um, delay and EQ. So uh, if you look at this messy sketch here, uh, this would be the delay. And this relay is actually going to control both my internal delay and the external. Um, the EQ, uh, it's just doing like this. So in, out send return so uh, yeah okay i'm almost done with the relays the only relays left are these three single pole relays uh, that's what i need for um, uh, channel switch to channel switch my amp so that's these two and they need to work independently so that's why i can't use a, a double pole relay this you may ask what it's for well um you see the, um, um, the equalizer, the Boss GE7 that I'm using in this build. Actually, uh, every time you power it up, uh, it starts in the off, uh, no matter what, uh, how you left it before you shut it off. So I need uh, this relay to send just a short click um, to turn that on. Basically, so when the Arduino starts, uh, basically before it does anything else, it just sends maybe one second, uh, it latches one second and that will uh, turn on the GE7 for me. So uh, that's all that is. Okay, so the relays are now in their place and I've ran all the, the power wires. Uh, I don't know yet how to route them, but uh, they're right there at the edge right now. Um, so yeah, uh, next thing is to run the signal wires coming from the dip switch to the right relay. All right, let's do it. Okay, I'm getting started organizing the cables here. Um, so, um, I'm starting at, at the far end here. So eight and eight. Uh, goes together uh, to the channel, one of the channel relays, 7 and 7 goes to the other channel switching relay. And then um, my plan was um, for the EQ. So this uh, number 6 here uh, goes to this EQ relay over there. So um, I'm just doing the kind of like the control 
wiring. I haven't started to uh, mess with the signal path yet, so I'm trying to uh, do all the the basic stuff and then hide it as well as I can and like uh, like this, so I can put put all the signal stuff on top of it. So yeah, let's um, let's continue doing this. Finally, okay, it's been a long day wiring up this and all the relays, but now finally it is done and it looks quite neat. Uh, all the cables are wrapped in pairs and tucked to the side. Um, this would be the, the signal coming from the Arduino, which I'll then cut to size, and then uh, wire up accordingly. Um, yeah. Um, if you're wondering why this is still left uh, like it is, that is going to uh, that is not going through the dip switches. It is uh, getting a signal directly from the Arduino. I haven't figured out the right pin yet, but um, that will happen quite soon. All right, so uh, let's continue. All right, so off camera here, I wired up the Arduino to the dip switches. So yeah, just six wires going in there to each bank. And uh, also uh, pin 11 is uh, the one I'm using for, for this relay. This is to turn on the, the GE7, the equalizer. So yeah, theoretically, um, all I need now is, um, is the receiver board and some power, and then we can test all the relays and all the functions on the dip switches. So yeah, let's do that next. 